Yo, yo, yo! How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Book of Mario Thousands of Doors, episode 48. And we got a fun thing for you today. Uh, we're gonna be walking very slow. We're gonna be walking very slow. So I decided, or John decided that I should do it because I was already <laughs> in the middle of doing it. Yeah. We do a Final Fantasy a tier list, I guess. Yeah, you're getting very passionate, and I'm like, keep that passion. And there was do somebody it. who said, <laughs> Uh, what started that is like I just remembered somebody saying Final Fantasy VI is the best Final Fantasy there is. I strongly disagree. I do too. I played it for an hour and a half. It was okay. <laughs> I played it four times, got to the same part, and stopped playing. Even in the P Pixel Remaster, I still haven't finished it. It, it's, it was that uninteresting. Well, because uh, like, I, I, from what I've heard, is that it's good up until a certain point, and then yeah. it just splits off into each character's like story and then it's like what is going on and they're like oh it's an ensemble piece it's about all the characters yeah none of them get solved it's, it's kind of like <laughs> any actual full story there was no one player player that you play as but it clearly wants you to play as the main girl and it is i forgot her name right now um it's been a while uh and her story is i don't remember what was going on uh, you were a, you are a, a mix between something, and then you are you are actually this, and then you, she goes freaks out and turns into an esper, and comes back later on finding out that she was an esper who's half esper, half human, and that is the extent of the whole thing because Kefka, Kafka, I think Kafka, Kefka just wants to just use that ability. For himself to destroy the world, but he also just wants to destroy the world. Right. I'm like, okay, cool. Pretty bad enemy. <laughs> like, 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 like bad, bad like bad. Uh, yeah. Like, just like bad that guy. is a very good bad guy. Yeah. That's what I like about it. What I don't like about it is how any of the protagonists are hell. Ha or like, I don't feel anything for any of the characters except for the girl, and. Uh, I do not like half of them, like, specifically, like, um, gone? What the hell? It's like, he's, you get him as an optional character, he's uninteresting, he's basically the blue mage, and he's, uh, like, everyone likes that character for some reason. And there's, like, a, it, this is just ends up being, like, a Final Fantasy VI shitstorm here. <laughs> but, um, six is fine. Nine is... Okay, I'm basically starting at the bottom from Final Fantasy. <laughs> All right, Six so... is the worst, I would say, that okay. I do not like the most because of the potential it had and the fact that it's not about... It's not about, like, more about the main character, but that it might have been changed if I actually finished the game. I don't know, but if I don't have the motivation to beat it four times every time I get to the same point, then why would I want to play a game that I don't like? True. Very true. So... I end up not liking it, so why am I going to finish a game that, anyways? Then the next least liked is going to be 9, I would say. And more or less because I do not like the womanizing main character, Zidane. <laughs> this is like, I just don't like him. 9, remind me of some characters that are in 9. 9? Vivi in 9? Vivi, I like Vivi. Vivi's, Vivi's great. 9, yeah. Because I know, I, the only reason I know Vivi is his, from his Kingdom story Hearts is 2. great. Uh, I, I would say, like, he's somebody who's living longer than most, and he has, like, like, uh, um, sentience more than the people, uh, the things that he's made around. Because there's other characters who look like Vivi, but are kind of like automata, automata, autonomous. And they, they just- Oh, darn it, that would've been good. Sorry, puny. They're basically like robots that don't have a thing. Okay. Like a soul, or like a, 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 a self-judgment and movements. But Vivi is like trying to figure out who he is. It's great. Zidane is just like, we take, we kidnap this girl. All right, we do it for good cause, okay. Also, I'm gonna hit on every girl that in the game. <laughs> oh um, no! Okay, what the hell is Akina? It's like Akina is a queen. Queena, Akina is, is that thing is a mess. Um, everyone likes it. That that is nightmare fuel. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever seen Kina, I don't think okay, I have. I'll show you what Kina looks like real okay. quick. All right. 
Uh, FF9 Kina. I think. Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> Ew, gross. Uh, he's <laughs> very into food. He uses a fork and spoon for a weapon, I think. Yeah. And it is a game. Like I like the the game aspect. I don't like the story aspect because it because Princess Garnet, like her whole story is pretty good. She's her mother's like going crazy, and she escapes. Uh, and then she's trying to figure out who she is or whatever, and she finds out that she can summon things, I think. If I remember correctly, she can do the summons or whatever. And uh, generally it's like, oh, I would like her story to be more in match with the final boss. But the huge part is what the hell is Zidane's whole part in all this? All he's doing is like, I stole, I, I kidnapped a person that wanted to be kidnapped and then I hit on every girl in the way and then I fight my brother at the end. It's like, where the hell did this brother come from? <laughs> Sounds very interesting. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, they go to the moon, fight his brother. That's the end. Oh. It's like, whoa, I don't remember any reason for there to be a story about his brother. Right. It just kind of like happens. Yeah. And it doesn't really fit. Probably. Maybe I need to play it again to find out. But it was interesting enough to find to play that. It's, it's really hard to like Zidane. Yeah. So those are, I'd say, the two worst that I played. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna get you to very quickly blah, and uh, then and then go back to your Final Fantasy. <laughs> uh, the Z yuck. Uh, Z yucks it is the genetic edition of the original yucks. Max HP is seven, attack is four, and defense is zero. It seems that Z Yux benefits protect the primary device as expected. Sometimes they also bring HP to the main unit that really burns me. HP is not much, but the obstacle is usually protected by, from attacks. Okay. So it's the shield one that you it, destroy the shield thing first in order to kill him. Yes. I yes. remember that from Game Grumps. Yeah. Well, we did we did fight I think some of them earlier. Oh, okay. I think there were like green ones that we fought. Ah. But I don't remember where we fought. I think we fought them in the Boggly Woods. Oh. But I don't remember correctly, or I don't remember accurately. Um. Yeah. There's also a crow just going crazy yeah. outside. <laughs> I forgot to close my patio door. It sounds Oops. like the the, uh, the the movie The Crow. Oh no, he's using a Mr. Softener and now we're attacked down by two. Damn. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, you could flip him over. No, I don't have FP. Flip him off. I, I could flip him off. But mm -hmm. I could... Mm -hmm. I don't know if my minus two will be affected by... Uh, that's a rip. Um, 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 country source? You could just use... I'll use the country. <laughs> just flip part of the Earth onto <laughs> the moon. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God, wow. <laughs> we take an entire country and we just squish them with it. <laughs> oh, I think... Uh, actually, no, I should be okay. I can use <coughs> Bob to blow them up. Um... You know what's really funny? Mm. If I were to interject and just tell you my tier list of Final Fantasy games, yeah. right now I can tell you what's at the top. Um, Kingdom Hearts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, okay, for my Final Fantasy game tier list, um, as in the very few that I've actually played, um, I would say, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Final Fantasy VII Remake from the demo that we played on the yeah, channel. That, that was, was super great. fun, and it was very Kingdom Heartsy, which is why I like it. Um, <laughs> but but for my number two would probably be Crisis Core because it was also very Final Fantasy, or very Kingdom Heartsy. <laughs> it, it, it Crisis great. Core, I've never played I, the, um, I didn't play the remake. The re the upgrade? Yeah, I never. It's, it's not a remake, it's upgrade. Oh, okay. Well, but they got like different voice actors and stuff. Yeah, they didn't They didn't change anything else, really. Oh. They I just... thought they like did a whole like, like remake on it. Isn't it? 
No, I don't think oh. so. Uh, it plays exactly the same. They made it upscaled to HD. It's like an HD remaster. It's like a oh. remaster. But then why would they get new voice actors? Because that's re- re- remastering the voices. But that's stupid. <laughs> but then shouldn't it just be the same voice actor? But then it's pretty like... good though. It's regardless. Okay. Uh, well, I'm talking about the original one for PSP. Okay. That's that's my shit. That's that was good. It was real good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's my tier list because I have not played really any other ones. No, Final Fantasy 13 was fun. Oh yeah, that was a good one. It was, it was decent. That was decent. It was just like I think people were just more disappointed that it wasn't what they were. Sh- showed right away or it just took too long to be you know in overworld but yeah every, game, every fun was you had a, a, like a long period of time to the overworld yeah anyway. work more wisely how big old men have a care lest you come because even final fantasy 6 you you're basically on rails until like the midway point and yeah. you don't really get this like explore the world so seven is like you have to wait until um until you leave midgar and then, then you get a pseudo exploratory, but then you don't get until the end of, until you get to the Temple of Ancients where you can actually roam around. Roam and, around yeah. places. Who is this man? Whoa, that's Mario. So to capture. No, it's to not capture. It's to not capture. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy 13 didn't open up until like oh, chapter uh, 14 or something. 11. Okay, chapter 11, but it was it was easily like halfway or something through the game. Yeah, there's a lot more to it after that. Yeah. It's just that the world wasn't super big because you can expect on a disc that's the PS3. <laughs> I mean, true. Or the Xbox 360. Yeah, Xbox 360. Uh, I forget. Anyways. It, yeah. Um, it's like you were expecting... Were you expecting Final Fantasy 16 levels of open worldness? Which is great, I would say... Uh, definitely like upper numbers, I would say. For yeah. 416. 15 was very middle. I never played I wouldn't 15. wouldn't say it was bad or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm going to ignore 11 and 14 because I realistically never beat them. Yeah. Like, at the same time, it's like those are separate whole genres entirely. Yeah. Dina, Dina Elite. X naughty, this child, and X naughty, cream of the cream. Jeez. <laughs> cream of the cream. <laughs> Not cream of the crop, no. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It will use a conventional text and increase the strength or size. X, elite X naught is difficult, but you just have to disappear until you fall. So okay. Just use the ghost to go on the ground. I, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to. I'm just gonna slap just, him around. I'm just gonna hit him with an energy hit and hope that does enough damage. So, okay. Oh, it did eight. It was so close. Uh, I just wanted to specifically talk about the numbers six, oh! Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy IX being the least liked in my Final Fantasy games. Yeah, to your little tier list. Which doing. is really odd because it's the best numbers. Six. And nine. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> it's very true. Um. Mario, if X Not Dweeb is here, this is absolute. Then will Crystal Star be here? And the Peach is here. We have to get it, Mario. Yeah, and let's we get are it. here. What do we do with this? <laughs> this information <laughs> that we have. Right. Oh my gosh, we're finally here. This is amazing. This is awesome. It's like the rest of the Final Fantasy is like. Uh, I think each one has is pretty good. I. Those ones are just more not as straightforward as I would like. Like I couldn't even I couldn't even tell you the rest of the Final Fantasy because they're all kind of the middle ground that I do not say. So I'll, for the rest, I'll have to say the top. Yeah, from the top. To, I would say top down, but from like my lowest favorite to my highest favorite. Right? Yeah. So I would have to go. Uh, um. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where to start at the and how many do I oh. here? I'll, I'll help you say it. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Because I would say. Oh, I remember this. Okay, I'm just gonna start with four being one of my favorites. Then... Brent, do you remember the pattern? Because I remember. No, I didn't. No, I meant to go to the next one. So uh, hold on. 
Down, 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 down. Oh, you jumped it. There we go. Easy. Ha. Huh. Uh, added the an important for elevator. Keyboards work on the uh, X dot lift. Nice. Easy peasy. Uh, so Final Fantasy IV is definitely one of my favorites, as it's it was the second Final Fantasy I've ever played, and uh, Cecil uh, had a pretty decent storyline. Uh, I like that they end up on the moon as well. Oh, nice, cool. They also go underground, like in all of like Breath of the Wild so far. Yeah. It's like there's a thing in the sky and there's a thing underground. Uh, Sid plays a interesting part and that all the characters like sacrifice themselves. It's all about sacrifice, I, I would believe, that that's the theme of it. And uh, some of it's pretty sad. And Kane is probably one of my favorite characters in it. Even though he's like a supporting character that kind of like gets mind controlled by Cecil's brother. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> more no more spoilers for that. But it's it's pretty good. Um, favorite character when I first played, I think I've said it before, was not Rosa, the other girl that that went to the summon world and I forgot her name right now. Uh, er, er, uh, that's, that's Aragorn. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> that's not the one I was. Um, but anyways, great game. Liked it. Second Final Fantasy ever played. The next one is going to be the first Final Fantasy ever played, which was Final Fantasy One. And what people mostly say at this point is, your favorite Final Fantasy is the first one you've played. And. No, in my case, no, it wasn't. It's, I played Final Fantasy 1, then 4, then Tactics, then 7. Uh, then I played 8. I think it was 9, then 10. And then 6, on and off. Really tried to like it. Yeah. I uh, just couldn't. Especially because everyone says 6 is so good. Yeah, it's like I couldn't. Like, I didn't know that. But I, I didn't know that everyone liked it by, at that point in time, but I didn't like it and I thought it was like everyone didn't like this game. That's why it wasn't on the PlayStation yeah. or on a different console. So that's what I thought. And when I found out people liked it, I was confused as fuck. I am still confused. Oh, Brad, we need the login code. Uh, x uh, Poop. Current Naughty. I think it's poop. Uh... Malicious code access. Okay. <laughs> Fine, it's very malicious. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, so uh, I would say Final Fantasy V would be the next one. Uh, it would be uh, one of my favorites. And then, because that one's pretty good. I, I like the whole job system in it, and the storyline goes all over the place. So, like, all all over, over the place in a good way? In a good way. Okay. Like, it, it, it's not in a Final Fantasy VI way? <laughs> no. It's because it's the four same uh, no, three same characters throughout the whole thing. And you're trying to find the fourth? Is this right? Oh, there we go. No, you're playing... That's the one with Boku. Uh, Boku no Pico? No. <laughs> Are you sure? It's B-O-C-O. -O. Oh, okay. Wait, that's Boku no Pico. B oh, no, that's right. That's B-O-C-O. -O. That's Boku, not B-O-K. -O oh, dang it. Anyways. Um, five is the one where you play as the main guy who's who who's just an adventurer, like wandering around and saying like, "Oh, he's from this town," and he runs into a king or princess or whatever that that, that meteorite falls, and you just kind of like trying to figure out what why these meteorites are falling and yeah. destroying the earth or planet, I should say. Yeah. And oh, uh, Doctor X, not man. <laughs> like this. Men like this record, boring things we fought. Max HP is nine, attack is four, and defense is zero. They want to face this pharmacist. Chemicals make the ever uh, make every effort, for example, to do things or burn people. You can take drugs, heal, or shoot up drugs. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Max not peep the doctor is very annoying, so beat them before listening. So beat them up before they tell you why you're so wrong about all the misinformation you heard. <laughs> it's like it's natural. Natural cocaine. <laughs> it's natural. It's good for you. 
Yeah, I just imagine you're just walking around and you just say, oh, look, cocaine in, in its natural habitat. <laughs> it's poppy flowers. All right, Brent. Um, there is a way to see. Oh, this is weird. It's in the background. No. Oh, it is in the back. Oh, well, <laughs> there's also like a weird. Do you notice that the lion kind of stands out a little bit on where to go? Or is it just me? Uh... Like, if I were to do this without looking, this is the natural way I would think it's to go. Yeah, you can kind of it's, see it. It, like, stands it's, out a little bit. It's slightly bit. more pink. Is that it? I, I think... can see a little bit more pink. And, uh... Yeah. There's something about it that just stands out a little bit more, and I don't know what it is. It's like a brighter pink. Yeah. It's very odd, but anyway. Hey, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, five has a, uh, like, the best leveling system, I think, uh, that I really liked. Uh, the storyline was pretty good. I don't remember it very well, so that's why I kind of lower. Um, the next one I would say is Final Fantasy VIII. I really liked the gameplay up until the fourth disc. <laughs> yeah. And everything I was like, why, 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 why is they all scale leveling? It's like I like the story, gameplay is fine, it wasn't the best, so it's kind of. Eh. It's like I really like the card battle thing too, and yeah. that was also trash. <laughs> but the song is great. Nice. And so I still do the, the, do the saw, the um, clap. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and I still do it to this day. Oh, Brent, it's this is super important. Watch 20 this. Years, 23 years. Watch this, man. We're gonna take a teleporter. Guess where we're going? Uh, Peach's bathtub. Dude, I wish, man. Um, no. The milk room. Those look the like milk, milk room. Jugs. Those look like milk jugs. The mommy milky room. <laughs> where the heck are we? Um, guess where we are. Oh my God, we're back underneath Rogueport. We're underneath Rogueport. Oh wow, I actually said that. <laughs> then X Knox, <laughs> X Knox used this, used that thing to come here from the moon. It they did, which is good because I actually wanted to come back here because we have eight shine sprites, <laughs> <laughs> and I really want to um upgrade upgrade as well as we have a bunch of. My name is Rude, and I sold my stamps to all my music. I do? We want to replace my genius? Okay, yeah. Sold all his rights to all his music, so now you just trying to buy him back? <laughs> I guess, pretty much. He's selling us junk? I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy a strong plus. And... Yeah. I might revamp my badges okay. quickly after we upgrade. Okay. Um, just because I have a lot of defense on right now, but I don't know if I need that much defense on right now. I don't okay. think, I think I might exchange a defense for a power plus, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. eight, um, I would say 13 would be somewhere in there, but it's also in the middle areas with 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 some of them. Like 12 was really good, um, but Vaughn, he just kind of gets left in the dust and the, he's the main character. So why would you make your main character like not more prominent? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's like you're you're basically a character who's just going along for the ride and having no real contributions, and that's what it feels like through the entire thing. It'd be great if they made somebody else a main character or made him more pivotal. I don't know. Just something about it just was off. So, uh, yeah. So it would be, um, what was it? Final Fantasy five, five, Final Fantasy one. No, Final Fantasy 4. I liked 4. Uh, five, uh, 4, 1, 5, 8. Uh, 4, 1, 5, 8. I would say <laughs> 10. Final Fantasy 10, yeah. 4, yeah. 1, 5, 8, 10. Uh, Crisis Core. Then Final Fantasy 7. Then Final Fantasy Tactics. Nice. And Tactics is number one. It's like, I just, I, I, a lot of people already know my feelings of like seven. So that's why I've just yeah. skipped through that. <laughs> no, Crisis Core. It's like Crisis Core and seven, very close to each other. Seven, the end of Crisis Core was fantastic. Dude, I love Crisis Core. 
My favorite was the part at the very end where you have to fight all the soldiers and stuff. Yeah. And then you can you're go like panicking and trying to survive it. Yeah. And then you can, but, but like, if you're really overpowered, you can survive it for so long. Yeah. <laughs> and I did that and I was like, do I, do I ever win? And then I yeah, realized you, you, you feel like you need to win. Yeah. You keep going. And then until you like, when I, I think on a newer version of it, it made it so that you start getting hit harder. Oh. Every hit makes you get more damage, oh. so you cannot defend against it. You right. end up getting, you end up s s s coming, something, whatever you, s uh, getting destroyed basically. Yeah, and it, and it and it's showing that you are panicking, trying to keep the keep your life up, and heal and like, there was a way to survive it that I was doing for a very long time. I think it was. Um, it was like a vampire attack, like attacking the, attacking them, and every time you hit them, you get more health. Yeah. It's like, that's what I was doing. But eventually, I was getting nearly one-shotted. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang, dude. I don't know. Yeah. Of, he was just getting, I don't know, just wrecked because it's just everything was hitting him too uh, often. Yeah, because I, I, I remember when I did that, I just went on. I swear to God, it felt like half an hour I went on just fighting them. And they were, because they wouldn't get any stronger. And I would just kill them and yeah. i was like oh okay i don't think i'm supposed to win so i'm just gonna stand there and then i stood there and it's like oh my god there was too many i just couldn't win yeah and uh my controller is uh oh, is on the board. up it, it's on the uppity and now we're just gonna keep going up and up forever it's down oh now we're good i mean yeah down <laughs> down god damn it i got my lefts and rights confused and now i'm getting my ups and downs confused jeez louise but yeah, yeah. like i tried to survive it as long as when I was playing it both times on the PSP and the, the, the newest version, yeah, I survived as long as I could, and then I lost. And it's like it shows how hard you fought against the Arby. It depends on how hard you fought against it. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty good, pretty good ending. Nice. Uh, I I think like surviving as long as you can gives it so that you have more investment in the character for the ending. Yeah, for sure. So that's why I didn't... makes it more rewarding, I guess. <clears throat> more impact. More impactful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's seven. Or Crisis Core is third favorite. Seven is second favorite, and Tactics being like the best uh, combat system I've played. There are things that need to be improved. I think. Like, uh, I can't really come across specifics, but like, maybe uh, the scaling seems a little bit off. Uh, G JP uh, job point accumulation needs to be a, a bit more balanced. But the close games, close games to it would be uh, triangle strategy. And I think the uh, it's the other one with the eight octo something octopath traveler. Yeah. I did like I you know I did play that and they're that was quite fun. They're both great, and uh, I would say those are in the same style and they they they, they play pretty damn good. But it's more like triangle strategy, as in it is an actual strategy game where you move them to squares and you attack from that square. Right. And where I think it's Octopath Traveler, it has, it was just like a standard RPG type of thing with extra abilities or something like that. Yeah. Like, pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, I wish I beat either of them, but they're pretty good worlds. I really like the whole main character just doing it to save everyone by not really caring whether or not he is remembered about it. He's doing it because it's the right thing, not because he needs it for fame. Mm -hmm. Sorry, in which one? Sa uh, uh, tactics. Oh, in tactics. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the whole thing is like, it's about a researcher uh, researching the past and finding that this huge war, the the lion war, war of the lions, yeah. that happened, didn't happen the way we the, that is passed down in oral history. Oh, it is actually researched to be a whole other story and we're finding it out by playing it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And kind of reminds me of Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, we're, and we're thing. learning that Ramza is was a Beolf or one of the Beolves, which is the family of the lions. And 
the two brothers, all three of them, were part of this war, and uh, they find like the materia that they find. I would say materia, but it's not close. It's like uh, the, the zodiac si sign stuff was influencing the people around them and destroying the the government or the world that they're they're, they're enforcing. So Ramza decided to be forgotten in history to stop them. And right. essentially his best friend Delita, uh, who they raised uh, as part of the family, but is not part of the family. Um, his sister died, so he decides to you know stop them. And he was the one who got remembered as the hero, where he was not the hero. <laughs> yeah. He just that the actual hero could not be named part of it because it, I, I forget why, but I do like the story of it and it's really good. Nice. And then there's a, there's a cool Easter egg in it. You can summon Cloud. Oh, really? <laughs> so Cloud can be in it as one of your characters. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I say Easter egg, but it's a it's a long, long pathway to do it, and you have to find a flower girl, and uh, classic, and uh, then you have to do a bunch of things, and then cloud, like you summon Cloud into it, and he runs away, and then you have to find <laughs> he him. Runs away? What? Well, you like? He's like, I don't know who I am. He's like com completely oh, confused. With classic him. Cloud, and he doesn't know why he's there, who he is, whatever. Yeah. And one thing that bothered me about the whole thing is his limit break. He doesn't have... Doesn't he do his Omni Slash? No, no. What? He has a Cherry Blossom. Oh my god. Uh, that's a, His most powerful one is Cherry Blossom. And it's like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. And I, I finally understand by wa by playing... Um, or watching uh, Bleach. Yeah. Because uh, there's a character... Brother... I forgot his name immediately. But he has a son from Zakura... Uh, Kageyoshi, the type of ability, okay. where his sword turns into a bunch of cherry blossoms yeah. and slices up the enemy. And oh, that's cell phone, cool. I just realized. That's pretty sick. So, thinking of that way, oh, Omni Slash, it's like a, it's Kageyoshi, whatever, it's like it's just a bunch of cherry blossoms attacking. So, it's, okay, it's Omni Slash, <laughs> just a different name. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was a fun episode. And on the next episode, we're going to go back to the moon and we're going to probably get through to the, f the boss on the moon. And then we've got some more stuff to do. Tactics is great. We're getting very close to beating this game. And yes, how was your Final Fantasy rant? Did you uh, like it? I really I gave you it. the whole episode. Yeah, I, I <laughs> Which is fine. Uh, I, and the funny thing is, I know you could go on for I much longer. On. I know you can. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Do the things you do for everyone else, but do it for us. And Brent, just to reiterate, best Final Fantasy game is... Final Fantasy Tactics. And worst one is... Final Fantasy VI. Love it. All right. See you and in another episode. I, I really want to play Revenant Wing still. And I really want to play, uh, I want to really finish Final Fantasy VI, but I will never be able to do them. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what to say. Clearly we just have to shit on it on a Let's Play. <laughs>